Batman Arkham City. I think we're playing on PC. Think again. This is Batman Arkham City being played via the Playcast cloud gaming service, which should be coming to the US in the third quarter of this year. So, can we please get a summary of what Playcast is exactly? So Playcast is a cloud gaming service. All the games are running in the cloud, meaning the virtualization of the game, the rendering of the game in the cloud, then compressing the video and run on a, almost any device that can display video in your living room or on tablet or mobile device. This is the PC version of the game, but it can display anything, it can run on anything, it can run video. So, literally any device can play the game. So, the graphics are rendered um, through your servers. So, I can play this on a PC, I can play this on a tablet, I can play this on multiple platforms, correct? Correct. Now, when you play this on a tablet, not all tablets are uh, were the uh, the target device for this game. So some some may need some of the controllers, some may not turn on raw uh, touchscreen. So we develop different skins for different games, so you actually you'll be able to adapt quicker the uh, the game to the. Uh, so once the service is launched here in the United States, uh, eventually uh, Arkham City will have a skin um, for tablets, right? So you'll be able to use the tablet properly as a controller without the touchscreen causing any problems. So Playcast is going to come in a few packages, correct? There are the uh, lower cost, lower tier packages that include uh, casual games, and then there are the higher cost, higher tier packages that comes with games like uh, Arkham City and Fear 3 and Metro 2033 and so on and so forth. So can you talk a little bit about the pricing for these packages? Right, so the basic packages include casual games but also older versions of uh, AAA games. Uh, in Europe and in Asia, we see those packages uh, go for between five to seven dollars. Uh, the more advanced packages uh, are around ten to twelve dollars, and we do see people who buy more than one package. So eventually, what we call our pool, the average revenue per user per month, is uh, higher than than ten dollars overall. So I, as a subscriber, can get both the casual package and the action package, for example. Correct, correct. and there may be three packages in, in the U.S. Uh -huh. for specific creators, or uh, in Korea, for example, they also have uh, buy a game and you get one game for three days, or uh, get a, the entire package for uh, one day only, and, and so on. Uh huh. And whether you bring that sort of model to the United States depends on your negotiations between now and then. Correct, correct. It's a three-way negotiation, actually. It's uh, between us and the operators, and also uh, including the game publishers, who sometimes you know, have some restrictions on uh, what game, which game should go to which kind of package. I see, I see. So currently, Playcast um, has the right to provide the user with roughly 60 AAA games um, and you expect that number to increase once the service is launched in the United States, correct? Correct. We are working and we are adding uh, a few games every month. Uh, some of them actually we must do because we are committed to our partners to uh, change the games. Uh, we also support uh, over 200 independent games and casual games and uh, usually when they choose and select the library it's a combination of uh, each, each uh, uh, each game exists in the catalog. Uh, usually the uh, packages themselves are around 20-25 games per package. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the operator. And what are some of the big name game publishers that you currently have agreements with? Uh, Warner Brothers, Atari, uh, THQ, Disney. These are people that we have already, uh, Sega. These are people we already have agreements with. And, but we're working with, I'd say, all the major game publishers on having agreements and uh, you'll see more agreements coming soon.
And uh, what publishers are you currently negotiating with? Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Not expand on that. <laughs> but you can imagine, I mean, all the... I don't think that we, there's a uh, tier one publisher that we are not either in agreement or under in, in kind of a negotiation process with them. And once you've reached an agreement with the publisher, that doesn't necessarily mean that you will have access to all their games. You cherry pick the games that you okay. want to provide to the user, correct? Correct. correct. Okay. So here you have it. Uh, about twenty minutes into Batman: Arkham City. Um, it's been consistently running at 30 to 40 frames per second. Um, latency um, has not been noticeable. Significant latency. Um, and this is the Playcast Cloud Gaming Service, which should be coming to the United States in the third quarter of this year.